Hello there, thanks for joining us. In this video, we're going to be talking to you about the intra-company transferee option. If you are an employee of a multinational company that has employed you outside of, comp outside of Canada, rather, and if that company has an operation inside Canada, then you may be able to get transferred to the Canadian um, entity as a ICT, an intercompany transferee. So we'll have much more information on this after the break. As always, remember to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And uh, like this video so others may see more videos like this. And uh, always remember to check us out on our website at go.goosslaw.com. I'll be right back. Hello there, welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis and I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer and I help skilled workers who are inside Canada and those who are outside Canada to become Canadian permanent residents without having to deal with all of the complicated uh, immigration laws that are part of that process. Today I'm uh, doing this video from a toboggan hill um, in um, Mississauga, Ontario and I wanted to take the opportunity to just um, explain to you what the intra-company transferee program is. Now, the ICT program is another means through which uh, persons who are outside of Canada may be able to come to Canada on a work permit. And eventually that work permit could lead to Canadian permanent residency. Now, if you are employed with a multinational company, a company that has operations in multiple countries, including Canada, then you may be able to have your employer uh, transfer you from the company that is currently employing you in your home country to the related company inside Canada. Now, the, just to give you an example, if you are, say, employed in the US within a company that has an operation in Canada, they have a Canadian office and they have a US office, and you're wanting to come to Canada, then it may be possible to have you transferred to the Canadian company. The way it works is that the Canadian company must have a need for the skills that you have. So if the Canadian company is looking for somebody with equivalent um, skills and expertise, whether at the managerial level or at the, um, the specialized knowledge level, then you may be able to get transferred to the Canadian entity. The Canadian entity would become your employer. Of course, there are some requirements that will need to be in place, uh, that you will need to meet. For instance, you will need to have been employed in your um, US uh, entity uh, for at least uh, one year in the last three years, and you must have been employed um, on a full-time basis, right? Whether it be as a contractor or as somebody who's on payroll. Either way, you must have been employed on a full-time basis and you must have been employed for at least one year in the last three years, um, among other requirements. But the bottom line is that you may be able to, 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 to have your employer transfer you. Now, the most beautiful thing about this is that it is what's called an LMIA exemption option, which means that your employer in Canada, the Canadian related company, must not, um, is not required rather, to have gotten a labor market impact assessment. Now, generally speaking, an employer in Canada who wants to employ non-Canadians must first prove to the Canadian authorities that they have been unable to find adequately um, skilled uh, Canadians to do the job, okay? And so if you um, are wanting to hire an, uh, somebody outside Canada, you must first go into the labor market, you must, uh, the employer must place advertisements for a minimum four weeks and um, try to attract Canadians and only after failing to do so uh, will they uh, get the approval of the Canadian um, government to go ahead and hire somebody from outside Canada. So that's a general requirement. However, there are some exemptions to that. And the intra-company transferee option is one of those exemptions, right? So it's an exemption to the LMIA route. So what it means is that the Canadian employer does not have to get an LMIA, does not have to go through that whole advertising process and so on and so forth. So it then becomes a viable option for persons who are wanting to come here initially on a work permit. It qualifies you for 
a work permit that can extend anywhere from one year to three years. And then, after having worked here for at least one year, you can then apply for permanent residency. And in addition, uh, the fact that you have a Canadian uh, job offer, a job offer from a Canadian employer, means that you stand to get additional points um, by virtue of having that, that job offer. And those additional points will help you in your permanent residency application. So, to summarize, the LMIA option, rather the ICT option, the intra-company transfer option is going to be a very good um, alternative for persons who are wanting to come here initially on a work permit or for persons who are employed in a multinational company that has a related entity inside Canada. This is an easy route. And of course, the word related is, is important because your current employer um, outside of Canada, whether it be in the US or India or whichever country, um, that employer must have a, a, a company in Canada that's either a branch or of, of the, the entity of your employer in, in your home country, or it must be um, affiliated in some, in, in some other way. But there must be a relationship, uh, a legal relationship between the two entities. But assuming there is such a relationship, this is going to be a viable option where the Canadian related entity is looking for somebody with the type of either managerial skills that you have or the type of specialized knowledge that you have and so that's going to be an option that's something that we've uh, helped people with in the past and something we'll be uh, happy to help you with um, should you have questions so i hope you found value from this video and as always uh, remember to uh, subscribe to our channel so that you'll get more videos like this uh, like this video so others will see videos like this and of course check us out on our website at go.goosslaw.com thank you so much